All right, let's watch another spectate. Right. This game literally just started when I start filming, and uh, Dwarven Greed was the um, turn one play, and then the Killer Monkey for the other opponent. So you're off to a uh, sky hook. It's the limit. Love that against uh, this individual. I like this, like guys. I like it because it's chill. I get to kind of just sit back, watch other people play, and uh, see some interesting gameplay. I perhaps could uh, learn something, stuff like that. Wow, two little monkeys on the board. A little OP, are we not? Because ah, oh, man, it's like. I mean, against death, I guess it's not so bad because you get tombstones, but it's tough, man. It's tough. I wonder if they're ever going to be adjusted. Some people say they're OP. Uh, maybe they can make them 1-1s, one -ones, make them a little bit easier to kill early game. But, well, there's that. Now, I guess at the same time, you sacrifice that 3-2 to kill it, right? Now... Either the opponent with the monkey is going to trade into it, or they're not. Um, but I mean, it's not like one damage is going to do much if they go to the castle or something like that. Hope everyone's weekend's doing well. Let's watch. Ooh, bizarre. Interesting. Okay. Why wouldn't... Interesting. Oh, I guess they want... Yeah, but I would kind of want to protect my guy's health as much as possible. But I guess... That's not bad. I mean, I guess it's okay. The problem is now this guy gets to be killed rather than it wouldn't be able to do it before, right? So he wouldn't have been able to get a big trade. But ah, my, the other opponent doesn't know that. So we'll see. We'll see. It's kind of interesting, too, to see what people do differently than what I possibly would. I mean, saving the monkey's awesome, right? Ooh. All right. Interesting. I'm gonna play a dwarf deck one day. We're definitely gonna be playing more uh, Sky Weaver, guys. And also, I have recorded a Hearthstone video with Rev today, but it's very, uh, oh God, I horrible misplays. We were learning a new deck. A little bit pressured, so things didn't go that well for us. But uh, we're gonna probably be recording some more Hearthstone tomorrow, Monday, and uh, uh, I'm probably gonna see if I can do Lu Lu Legends or Terra video tonight or a Eternal card game. The only thing is, uh, Pal World's out. <laughs> it's all the rage, right? And uh, I kind of want to check it out. I got it on Game Pass PC, so I don't have to buy it on Steam. But everyone, all everyone I know. As a Steam, so I might have to end up buying it. We'll see. It depends. We're also thinking about getting a dedicated server for it. So that might be kind of fun. But it, it depends. There's also Enshrouded coming out next week. Or actually this week, right? Yeah, it's actually this week. And then next month, Nighting, Nightingale's coming out. And that's another survival crafting game i'm really looking forward to so i don't know if we're going to uh oh okay that's pretty good i don't know if i'm going to um ooh, a little bit of extra ooh, ooh, ooh. that hurt a little bit of extra <clears throat> oh, i lost my chain of thought but anyways yeah so i don't know if i'm gonna get a dedicated server for power world because well, I'm sure it's a great game. I don't know if I'm going to be playing it enough in the near future with two other survival games coming out. So we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, I know. A little bit extra punch that buffing that guy's attack. I love how it knocks the castle, right? That's one strong dude. Hold on, my dog's going crazy. Mm, swordsman's so good. And it hits the castle, too. Good placement.
And also, I've been playing some uh, Warcraft Rumble player versus player and having a lot of fun. So yeah, there's so many different things to play, right? Yeah, but uh, if anyone's playing Power, let me know in the comic comics comments and see what you what you think of it. Let the pooch out. The little dog always wants in and wants out. It only happens when I used to stream or recording videos. <laughs> All right, so Skyhook. There we go. Oh, okay, now they'll probably be able to remove them. I'm anticipating. Oh, I don't know if that was so good, but I would have waited maybe get more value out of it. They're maybe thinking that uh, they're going to ignore the 1-1. One, one. Oh, well. It's just why I would have waited. Uh, yeah, that's why I would have waited. So I think this is GG. Because uh, if you back it up with some kind of area effect removal, it's a huge tent. You know, clear, but yeah. I know sometimes when you're under pressure, though, you just want to try whatever you can to get you know things going. But unfortunately, it's just GG. Unfortunately, you don't always get. Interesting. All right, that was a good match. Let's see if we could go to another one. Oh, here's a round two one. We'll miss a few rounds, but ah, who cares? It's, uh, oh, it is Blue Thomas Man. I love this avatar, but, by the way. And I love this uh, castle. I plan on getting more and more cosmetics as time goes on. Uh, let's see what their first couple rounds were. It looks like not too much all right love the music Hopefully you guys get to, uh, ooh. I like this one. This art's pretty cool. Yeah, the art in this game's pretty cool. I like it. I know some people aren't too keen on the cartoony, pixely visuals, but uh, I think they're awesome. You eagerly growing you after a while. Still don't know all the traps. I got to look into the... My collection C because like I don't know what the druids have for traps. I think one's it's not about deal with health or something. I don't know. But we will see. Uh, war elephant. Hey, you know I've never. I don't think I've ever seen that card. What does it do besides be a huge amount of stats? Whenever this takes damage, some. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Good for tokens, right? Hmm, interesting. gonna be able to get, be able to get that buffed up but still cool yeah war elephant i wonder if that's i mean it's a little understated for five but it does give you value right a little rng though oh the music in this match is very cool merchants estate gain one when uh you turn 
starts. Okay, yeah, that's a ramp card. Add a contraband to your head. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, I love the art for that one. You know what? Give your other units plus one. Oh, your other units have. Oh, so it's a buff. I don't know if I have this. I think I might now, but I remember. Oh. Oh, wow. I love that. I've never seen that card either. Yeah, there's still so many cards I haven't seen. You know, still relatively new to the game. Okay, I've seen that. And the developers on the official Discord have done a poll if you guys want to check it out. Pretty sure most of you guys who watch this, these videos for cards and castles 2 is already a member of it and yeah so it looks like they're quarrying but like a casual mode and something about lobbies so we'll see and uh, casual modes okay i mean i guess to test some stuff out but it's like if you want to really test a deck you kind of want to do it on the ladder see how they go against meta right but some people don't really like uh ooh, there we go when you first killed add a wait, what was it Mm -hmm. Add a random five cost your head. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this is very cool. I like these avatars. This is. Ooh, that's actually a pretty decent. I've seen that a few times. Killer rabbit, that's awesome. As a matter of fact, I'm not a mighty little bit on this. What's this called? Interesting. This is evasive, berserk, and destroy. So, this is the thing, and it's also four. So, compared to the monkey, though, this one has death strike, but it's random, right? It's berserk, so it's, you don't really get to choose which uh, unit you want to attack. So, I guess it's more balanced, right? Could take out a big boy or it could take out a little one one. Who call the wild? This can do some damage to the estate. Furnace. Battle squirrel. I love it. So what I'm talking about? I wonder where that ranged attack. I'm assuming it's gonna take out the state. Yeah. Ooh, that guy. I like him. He's actually really cool, by the way, right? He takes some damage. He summons a bunch of nasty squirrels that are gonna start chucking their little boomerangs at people. So, Blue Thomas Man is in the lead. Ooh. Ooh, that killer rabbit's actually really good. The only thing is, um, it might not live. Yeah, it doesn't. So, you see, that's the problem with Berserk, right? It's RNG. So, you could say the killer rabbit is balanced. Yeah, so. Blue Thomas is seems to be in charge. Oh, especially with the Queen of Ice coming on the board. What does she do, by the way? I don't have her yet. Add two uh, uh, random frost cards to your hand. Your next frost card costs zero. Now that could be any frost card. Well, obviously, they're a druid and warlock or whatever it's called. I think it's called the fire in there. So they don't have. Warcraft, uh, Warcraft. They don't have frost cards by default. Hmm. I like this card a lot, by the way. Ooh, the God of the Arena. See, again, 
clears the board. Then he's right in there with some big beefy dudes. It's a good fist fight of a game. I will be back this week with more cards of the castle. So to you, I'm going to do that uh, Loch Ness deck I was showing last episode uh, or last video with replace replace mechanic. It's really interesting. And then we'll definitely do more yellow, big yellow. And then eventually, as we get our collection better, even more decks. There's a lot of decks to play. Matter of fact, I might want to mess around with the decks that we get for free maybe they would be kind of cool they seem pretty competitive and they're community decks which is awesome Ooh, okay the killer rabbits good because it's going to get good value here except for uh she does do what two damage or three damage two so she'll clear out these one ones But doesn't clear out the entire board. Yeah, this is a fist fight of a game, guys. Fist fight of a game. Oh, okay. Living Vines is cool. I like that card. I'm debating actually guys to whether put to going back to power world i'm making a video of it my first little you know uh gameplay of it but this is technically a card game i have done i mean card game site i have done how was it called uh other games on the channel that are not card related so i make it i'm gonna do it again but we'll see we'll see yeah, but Power World looks like, you know, it's a good game. I love survival games, kind of survival crafting games to begin with. Like I played Seven Days to Die, Icarus, just to name a couple. I'm really looking forward to uh, Enshrouded this week. And, what's it called? Um, uh, Nightingale next month. And, of course, I do have Valheim as well. I just haven't really got a chance to play it. A lot of these strat uh, survival crafting games, you kind of want a dedicated server. The problem is it's so it'd be pricey if you do it for multiple ones. So you kind of, what you do is you play one for a while, get a, hopefully a server for it, and then when you're done with it, take a break, you get rid of that server and convert it to a different game. So, yeah. Create a copy of all the beasts in your hands that cost one less. Ooh, I like this guy. I don't have him, unfortunately. Yeah, there's so many deck cards that decks I can't play right now. It's one thing I like about the training mode of this uh, game is it allows you to play decks that you don't have all the cards. So you can get a code, copy it, and kind of have get a feel for it. Of course, it's against the AI. It'd be awesome if the training mode was actually against other people, but I think it's probably not worth it for the. Ooh, what does this do? <laughs> That's critical. Cool. Sunflower sub plus 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 some. Oh, ooh, I wonder if the sunflowers decks a thing. Hmm. No, but if this guy dies, he just. Let me still. Kind of cool. As this game matures, like if you could get more buffs and buff this guy up a lot. Maybe, uh, you know, could be a thing. <laughs> Did they just play that on their hmm, weird? I think they were hoping we'd go against their opponent's car units, but no such luck. So I'm thinking that guy that he just killed should be a back line kind of towards the back of the castle. You keep it there where you have your sunflowers out and about 
taking trades where well, you could get more value out of them because when you put them up there like this it's just easy kill right if it was back here behind the castle make the opponent come after them maybe I don't know. Kind of good anti fatigue, right? Interesting. I like that beast card mode card. I like it. Woohoo! Faces the place. And what does this do? Dragon Age egg. I guess it's good against board clears like area effect. That's what I'm anticipating because I don't think you can buff it. But maybe you can. So it looks like Beast, the uh, not Beast, uh, Blue Thomas is actually kind of actually really, really behind right now. Mm. So that's very good because he. It buys them at least one more turn, but do they have a way of, <clears throat> excuse me, clearing up some of this board, though? Ooh, Madness. Ooh. Madness is actually kind of good because then they have no control. The only thing is they're going to go after the castle, most likely. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Interesting, man. This is a f ooh, best fight of a game. Do they ignore this uh, dude with awesome shield here? This door master? Oh, no, they don't. No, but they do freeze it though, so that's kind of good. It gives them a little bit more turn. Is it me or this guy's not moving their vines? Oh. I like this card. But yeah, is it me or the last turn they didn't move? They moved this guy, obviously, but not these two. Hmm. Ultra of Fire. What does that do? Uh, deal three damage to your castle, then summon a random to cost you. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Especially if you have a little bit extra health that you can afford to lose. So does a 5-5 five, five trade to the 4-4? Four, four? You go, well, the other opponent. 68 needs to be more defensive, so they're not going to probably... That archer gets a nice kill on that. And they do. Last will. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I like that. Are they gonna get, what are they gonna do with that door? Again, they didn't move this. Right? Or did they resummon it? I don't know. Have to rewatch the video. Kinda tired. That Remus here is pretty good. So that is going to go haywire. Strange. What does this do? Add a random t two spells to your hand and they cost one less. Ah. Good card. All right, so. All right. Let's see what happens here. 
kind of sucks that it killed its own buddy, but. Ooh, the vine lives, but again, guys, this is a very good game. Look at this, they're pretty much neck to neck in health. Ooh, wow. That's a pretty gutsy move, but I guess that they didn't have anything better. I mean, interesting. I mean, honestly, I would never trade there. Uh, that Chichu, unless they have some kind of way of. Oh, there's Druid Mythic buff it. Oh, uh, the. Cr Ooh, let's go. I cannot wait to play some Kraken decks, guys. Now, there's nothing on board, so they can't stop the ritual, right? I don't know. Can you stop the ritual with spells? Hmm. Oh, so when these get uh, eaten by the Kraken, they become little tutus. So that's not bad. He's going to die as well. Uh, they might win. The Kraken's not going to be easy for them to deal with on an empty board. Ooh, evolve. Wow. Actually, that's pretty good because I don't think... I think the Kraken definitely kills the 6-5. Ooh. That's a good way of playing around the Kraken, right? Yeah. So, now they got guards, so that means they can't attack. That's Berserk, though. They're going to have to kill it. Because it could go and hit, it could hit the, the castle. No, it can't, it has guard minion. Wow, what? Just like that. Oof. Kraken's still on the board. I'm pretty sure that the big dino is gonna kill it. But after that, there's still a huge amount of uh, pressure coming on for the other. Yeah, this is a great game, guys. And then after that, we'll end the video in, uh, yeah. We're definitely having a lot more of these watch parties. I, I really enjoy it. It's not very often you get to, uh, Rev and I do that a lot. The Hearthstone, I'll play some games, he plays some. So this allows us to, um, ooh, okay. This is interesting because The Kraken doesn't attack. Oh, because it's madness, so it would only attack one of its own. So, mm. <laughs> Blue Thomas Man still in this. Okay, the dinosaur and the Kraken are gone. Uh, what does this guy do? Ooh. It's Eye of the Flame. Uh, I kind of like it, but ooh, a killer that's going to kill the 1 1 for free. This can most likely no, I don't know if it's going to connect. Oh man, Thomas is coming in pretty strong with some beefy minions or units, so. Okay, the rabbits up. Oh, that's good. Okay. But 68 needs some kind of. Oh, they're almost out of cards so is that what a grindy match guys what a grindy match oh that's good oh he doesn't quite have enough unfortunately that's unfortunate too bad they couldn't get the little eye over there all right Ooh, the shark, the land sharks. Oh, we yeah. Oh, GG, Thomas. GG. That was a really good match, guys. I hope you enjoyed the watch party tonight, and we'll see you next time. Good night.